The movie begins in Kosovo, where Kovacs and Lucas command an army engaged in a special operation. In Afghanistan, Mena is talking with Elsa Casanova, a French journalist who lives and works in Kabul, for an interview. She shares the unfortunate events that occurred throughout her life, such as how her mother killed herself in shame of fidelity, how his older sister died, and how she was sold by her family when she was a little girl. She reveals to Elsa that she's sharing this information to protect her from Ahmed Zaif, the Taliban leader, who's out for vengeance. After Mena tells her story to Elsa, she rushes and bids her farewell. She then tells her that it's the last time they will see each other because Zaif already knows everything. Simultaneously, her close friend Amen approaches and informs her that she should leave as soon as possible because Zaif's men have discovered their place. Elsa is so determined to save Mena that when Amen comes to pick her up, they go to Mena's home, putting her and Amen's lives in danger. It's already late when they reach Mena's house because Zaif's men are already there and follows Mena as she enters her home. She immediately hides in the car and comes across Zaif, and they have eye-to-eye -eye contact. Elsa doesn't want Mena to be left behind. Hence, she goes to meet her other friend, Salem Ani, to see if he can assist them in locating Mena and Zaif. However, when she meets up with Salem Ani and tells him his intention, he sells her to the Taliban, saying he had to do it. Consequently, the Taliban apprehend Amen and Elsa, who subsequently take them in as hostages. During these events, in Paris, the French government learns that the Taliban holds Elsa a hostage. Meanwhile, Commander Kovacs is celebrating his birthday party with his family. He suddenly receives a call from the Admiral informing them about the Special Forces operation. Joining them will be their two comrades from Naval Commandos, Victor and Marius, Sniper Elias from Air Force Paratrooper Commando 10, and Tic Tac from the 1st Marine Infantry Paratroopers Regiment. At Zaif's camp, Amen tries to comfort Elsa, who's afraid and feels guilty because she believes she's at fault for their being in this trouble. Amen tells Elsa not to reveal any fear signals while with Zaif. He explains to her that even if they may potentially kill them, there's no way that they could prevail against them. When Elsa eventually gets to meet Zaif, he lets her know that he has read all of her publications and how she calls him, the Butcher of Kabul, and, Afghan women's worst friend. Zaif tells her that he did not invite her to his country to spread democracy at gunpoint, but then Elsa responds that it is still better than selling a 12-year-old child. Zaif orders his men to take Salem Ani inside. When Elsa doesn't comply with his requests and doesn't want to read a message to Western governments, Zaif brutally kills Salem Ani in front of her, causing her to break down and rage in anger. He records the murder in a video and sends it to the French government. On the other hand, while having a meeting, the French government urgently wants to rescue the hostages upon watching the murder video, with their belief that French people don't deserve that. On the opposite side, the special forces identify Zaif's secret hideout in Pakistan, where they witness Mena getting shot. When Zaif is out to meet members of the Shura, the special troops rescue Elsa and Amen. They're on the verge of leaving when they and the Taliban begin firing at each other. One of the bullets hits their wireless set, causing their portable communication equipment not to operate. Only through text signals are they able to connect with their base at this time while the Taliban are actively searching for them. On the other hand, the army cannot locate them and pick them up because they have no means to communicate with their base. Shortly after this incident, the president learns that the attempt by the special forces to evacuate the region failed. He also discovers they didn't show up where they said they would and are no longer interacting with anyone. After Zaif's gang fires their weapons at one of the helicopters intended to take them up, the chopper swiftly takes off and emergency lands. In the interim, the French government hasn't received any news regarding the hostages. In place of another solution, the forces head for the Khyber Pass to reach their base in Afghanistan on foot. Furthermore, members of the armed forces and marines continue their search for them using every resource they have. When they are going over the mountains, Elsa compliments Elias on his bravery. Still, he disagrees and tells her they didn't do anything when they witnessed the situation with the woman at Ziaf's camp. Despite knowing she'll get shot, she handles the situation with tremendous bravery, Elsa then realizes he's talking about Mena. After some time, Zaif's men, who have been following them for days, initiate another gunfight. In the morning, they hand Amen a gun that had previously belonged to one of Zaif's dead comrades. Elsa, who's so angry, informs them that Zaif will not give up and wants her more than his life. The conversation is later interrupted when Elias says that Zaif and his men are drawing nearer. Having been hounded for days, the team fights back and successfully puts down many enemies. Zaif's men losing many of their comrades, retreats to a mad Zaif. They have been walking for four days and come across a village at this point. With them needing comfort and food to eat, Elsa and Tic Tac decide to go and ask for hospitality. 
it's a tradition that locals will never refuse to give, even to their adversaries, thus, it's wise for her to make this choice. When they all get to the village, Kovacs is concerned about the children's whereabouts. They quickly learn that the Taliban visited during the summer and, unfortunately, took the youngsters against their will. Elias runs to pursue the person responsible for the death of Marius, who was shot by a sniper while resting and having fun with the locals. As Elias determines the attacker, he pulls out his sniper rifle. He then shoots at the sniper, but after missing his first shot, he runs to a new spot to get a more precise aim. Then he shoots, hitting the sniper in the head, and kills him. After that, they bury Marius, and Victor, saddened by his death, asks Amen to offer prayers. The next day, they leave and continue their journey back to their base. After some time has passed, the men under Zaif's command eventually make their way to the village. The forces are on their way to continuing their journey when Amen talks to them and tells them that he wants to stay with the locals. According to him, if he's to die in the mountains, he chooses to die with them. After a brief discussion, Kovacs instructs them to stick with Amen and maintain vigilance over the other people, for he believes they owe those people for all the convenience they have provided. He orders Lucas to stay with Elsa whom he had a little argument. On the other side, Zaif calls his men to eliminate everyone living in the village while asking where they hid Elsa, Amen, and the special forces. Amen, alone fighting, gets shot by Zaif from behind, which Elias later discovers. Lucas hands Elsa a gun and follows the soldiers into the village, he arrives there in the nick of time after Victor gets shot, which forces them to retreat into the mountains. Elias, left behind in the town to cover the others, successfully draws Zaif's army away. However, a gunshot kills him not long afterward. As Kovacs, Lucas, Tic Tac, Elsa, and an injured Victor continue their journey into the mountains, it starts to snow. Later, Victor and Elsa are having a conversation where he asks Elsa to take care of Tic Tac because he lost his wife two years ago. Then, an oncoming snowstorm separates Tic Tac and Victor from the rest of the group. After the storm has passed, Kovacs, Lucas, and Elsa find Victor, but he has already perished due to the shock, they find Tic Tac alongside him. Moreover, Kovacs desperately attempts to get in touch with their base. Then, Lucas comes to talk to him, dampening their hopes because of their lost men and fearing who will be the next to get killed. This conversation causes a heat-up argument between the two making Elsa interfere and stop them. Kovacs then reveals to Lucas that his wife, Lisa, is expecting their first child, which is why he keeps trying because he wants to bring Lucas back home alive. They have been walking through the mountains alternately carrying injured Elsa. By the time they are finally out of the snow, they're too exhausted to rejoice. They come face to face once more with Zaif and his army. Zaif's soldiers begin firing at this point, causing Lucas and Tic Tac to be wounded. Elsa runs to escape the firefight wherein she recognizes Zaif, therefore, the instant she sees him, she begins to avoid the approaching danger. She doesn't stop running until she's close to the cliff's edge and about to fall off. Zaif helps her and hostages her as he approaches Kovacs and Tic Tac. Kovacs shoots Zaif and instantly makes his way over to Lucas, lying on the ground. However, it's too late, and Lucas dies in his arms. Kovacs, who's in a dreadful state of grief, is burying his friend when two unarmed locals arrive to provide a hand. Excessively worn out, the three people walking on the road continue their journey. They have now been traveling for a total of 10 days at this time. As Kovacs sees the final shortcut before entering Afghanistan, everyone rejoices as they proceed down the road. An avalanche arrives out of nowhere just as their hopes improve, providing them with an entirely new set of hurdles. Elsa and Tic Tac can escape the risky position. However, Kovacs receives a leg injury while attempting to rescue them. They intend to continue on their expedition, but Kovacs and Tic Tac's injuries are becoming a burden, so they urge Elsa to continue without them. She opposes, but Tic Tac persuades her and hands her a gun, while Kovacs gives her the compass he received on his birthday. She hugs Kovacs and kisses Tic Tac after Kovacs informs her what to do, and then she says her goodbyes and leaves them behind. After everything she's been through, Elsa manages to make it in the desert alone. She has nothing but water to drink, causing her to pass out in the desert. At that moment, an army truck passing by the road rescues her. Later, the medical team confines her to a wheelchair and dresses her in army uniform. At the same time, the minister tells her that she will fly to Paris in the evening. Still, Elsa has decided she doesn't want to travel back to Paris. She informs the minister that she will leave Kabul once they have completed their hunt for Kovacs and Tic Tac in that city. Later, she gets swarmed by the media, and the admiral comes to her and asks if she wants to ride with him, indicating their rescue of the two soldiers. The minister attempts to convince the admiral to stop. 
Still, he ignores him and instead lifts Elsa from her wheelchair and carries her to the helicopter. They jump into the air fast and begin searching for the two warriors. The movie ends with Elsa spotting two worn-out soldiers lying on the rocks. She then experiences a wide range of emotions upon discovering they are still alive. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this to help the channel out. Have a nice day.